Hello everybody, welcome to Bobonomics, I'm Bobo, and today I'll be talking about why Fortnite is addicting and the economics behind Fortnite. Despite being free to download and free to play its main mode, Fortnite was the highest grossing video game of 2019. Fortnite makes its money by selling skins for your character, which are literally just like costumes and outfits, and emotes, which are literally just dances for your player. And people pay a lot of money for them. They also make money hosting events, and in one of their most recent World Cups, the prize money was $3 million and some 16-year-old kid won it. Fortnite comfortably has over a million returning and concurrent players every month, and they've made over $4.5 billion since the game launched. And people make money off of Fortnite. This dude named Booga, bruh. His name's Booga. He's a multimillionaire based off Fortnite. That's it. He's a teenager and made his money playing Fortnite. So what makes Fortnite so addicting? So the main way people play Fortnite is just by playing Battle Royales. And it's a shooting game where you can play by yourself or with a team and it's, you know, last man standing wins. This type of game mode has been replicated in the past and is really popular now. And psychologically, it just has a reward system where you like survival and if you win, you get a huge rush of enjoyment. Fortnite also has its own currency, so you can spend and make money, basically. They're called V-Bucks, and that also just lets people enjoy themselves, because people like spending money, people like making money, even though it's fake. That's pretty standard for video games already, but the fact that you can combine that with Fortnite's Battle Royale, and it kind of revolutionized the whole mode, and it has a bunch of vibrant colors, and it appeals to kids, that kind of combines to make it super addictive. Another reason Fortnite is addictive is because it's gratifying because usually you have to wait a few seconds, sometimes even minutes, to get into a game in the first place. And over 300 million people have played Fortnite in the world. So whenever you want to share this game or just play with friends, there's a ripple effect on getting a bunch of people hooked on the game. A majority of Fortnite players surveyed have spent money on the game. And of the people that have spent money, they average over 80 bucks spent on the game each. That is insane. 6 out of 10 of their purchases were on cosmetics, which are skins slash outfits, and the rest were on harvesting tools, gliders, and dances. If you've never played a video game before, or have never heard of Fortnite somehow, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but anyone that's played a video game understands that some people pay big money to just dress their character up or have a specific dance or something. Not only are these kids spending money, but Fortnite is so addicting that one-third of Fortnite players surveyed said they've skipped school just to play Fortnite. Some of this is funny to me, but from a certain perspective, this is literally just sad. Allegedly, over 4,000 divorce cases named Fortnite as part of the cause for their separation of marriage. Like, Fortnite is fun and all, but if you're literally ruining your life over it, that's just sad. Fortnite is already a very popular game and it's been reported on a lot, so I'll keep this video short and end it right here. But basically a takeaway is that the average Fortnite player spends money on Fortnite and spends a lot of money and spends a lot of time playing it. And the reason this happens is because it's generally addictive, it has very vibrant colors, has functions that operate almost like a gambling machine, has a game mode that is psychologically rewarding, and overall just has a lot of network and friends on it that make you want to spend time on it and spend money. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know if you ever want me to do some of, I don't know, Fortnite video. This was a request. But yeah, that kind of covers how Fortnite makes their money and why it's addicting and why kids won't get off it. Alright, thank you again for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. And as always, have a great day.